Right. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Medea J and today's video is going to be a haul video. So similar to the last haul that I did, you're going to see my face in some clips and you're going to see my hands in some clips, unboxing some goodies. So these are products that I talked about in my last haul saying I was waiting for or that I purchased or products that have been sent to me in PR. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Remember to subscribe if you haven't and turn on that notification bell. All right, let's talk about what's on my eyes. So I'm wearing the so I'm wearing two of the mini quads from Day Day Signature. So Day Day Signature recently revealed that they are coming out with mini quads and this is what they look like so i'm wearing two of them i actually just recorded a review of this um which should be going up very soon but i do think that the whole video might go up first either way everything will be linked as per usual so i'm just going to quickly show you guys the palettes but i'm not going to open up anything because i went in depth in that video i even swatched them so you're gonna have to wait for that one <laughs> so i've got the peach palette you've got the coconut palette passion fruit palette is the one that i've got on this eye avocado is the one that i've got on this eye and then you've got the blueberry palette so as i said Sorry, you're just going to have to wait for that video because I showed um, close-ups and I also swatched them. I just don't want to repeat the same thing in this video. Also from Day Day Signature, I have seven of their matte liquid lipsticks. I'm actually wearing two of them combined and I do love the formula of their liquid lipsticks. I do have swatches of these. Um, the brand asked me to do swatches for them to use on their website. So I do have proper swatches which I'll pop on the screen as I'm telling you. So this one is called Black Magic. It's a beautiful brown, oh so yummy beautiful brown kind of like muted brown shade i'm obsessed and then you've got global global is a beautiful purple would actually go really well with this entire look as a vibe and then you've got lovely i appreciate shades like this because you can use it to lighten up the center of looks and then they look really nice on top of really brown lip pencils so i do love colors like this and you've got void void is what i combined with lovely with a brown lip pencil to give me this beautiful pouty look and then i've got neutralize neutralize is a beautiful i want to say it's like a taupey almost brown type of shade anyway you can see the pictures it looks stunning <laughs> and then bold sight is also another stunner it's like love the package i just love how sleek the packaging is and i love that i can see the name clearly and the last but not the least is actually now one of my favorite reds of all time there's just something about this red and this is pepper gang aside from it being really really comfortable on the lips i just think that the tone of red just matches really well with my skin tone and it just looks yummy vibrant without much effort like literally don't need a lip pencil or anything it just accentuates my lips which i absolutely love so the formula of these are really comfortable they're not like suck your life out type of matte shade so if you're on the hunt for matte liquid lipsticks definitely check out Day Day Signature I do have a discount code with them Day J and it'll get you 10% off you can also use the code on House of Clarivon they are their UK stockists so if you live in the UK Europe or anywhere you can pick it up from House of Clarivon as well all right so the unit i've got on my head is a half wig from house of clarivon i do have a video testing out some of their um headband wigs so definitely check that video out i'll link it in the cards and also in the description box but that's another um couple of products that i received from house of clarivon i love how comfortable and how quick and easy these are to just throw on i literally braided my hair in seconds i just pop this on and i I feel like I look really really good with this black on black outfit it just looks really really amazing so definitely check it out if you're looking for easy throw on 
types of wigs without any fuss or stress. But of course, my Pat McGrath order came and I had to get to work and do comparison swatches of one of the eyeshadow palettes that of one of the color focus palettes from Revolution which is a direct dupe for the Pat McGrath Mothership One Subliminal palette and honestly you guys if I tell you that unless you've got a really detailed eye you would not know the difference I'll insert a clip that I did for Instagram but honestly you guys they look so so similar I see why people fell in love with the Pat McGrath quality. I mean, the weight of these eyeshadow palettes is like a brick. I feel like it can smash someone's head. <laughs> They're so big and so luxurious. Um, you do have the shade names on the inside. Personally, that is annoying for me because I don't know how I'm going to, like... I mean, personally, it's annoying for me. I would have preferred it if the shade names were stamped on the inside of the palette. Just because, um, I mean, the, the packaging is luxurious. You would keep it with the packaging. But what if you don't want to keep it with the packaging? You don't even know what um, eyeshadow palette it is without the packaging. Unless if you're a Pat McGrath um fan and you know all the eyeshadow color stories and names i just feel like the name of the palette should be somewhere on the actual palette which it isn't but anyway this is the first one i have swatched it and unfortunately it doesn't open further than this so i can't really not blind you guys but i will try my best this is what this one looks like and i know it looks really cool tone really boring but trust me the pigmentation of this palette is worth every penny i'm just going to swatch some random shades just to show you guys how insanely beautiful this eyeshadow palette is like look at the shimmer look at the way it just picks up on the camera it's just flawless so i see the quality i see you i see you the matte shades leave a little bit to, to be desired but i guess unless i try them on my eyes i can't say definitively that i'm not gonna like them but just by swatching the shimmer shades i'm sold and you've got majority of the shades are shimmer you only have a few matte shades in all her palettes anyway so yeah, I'm here for it. I'm here for the luxury. I'm here for the quality. And it's an all-round beautiful palette. If you can't afford the Pat McGrath palettes, don't worry, girl. Check out the Revolution Pro Color Focus palettes. They duped virtually. So they duped quite a number of these palettes. So I did pick up three from there. They had like a bundle deal. So Pat McGrath had a bundle deal um, the other day, so I picked up three of the eyeshadow palettes. So that's the first one, which Revolution have duped. And then I've also got the, what's this one called? The Mothership 3 Subversive. This one came a little bit battered in terms of the packaging, which is quite annoying, to be honest. But I do love the design of the packaging. Again, shade names are on the inside. No palette name on the packaging itself. Looks like a gold bar, like so pretty. I didn't swatch this one. And I think this is the only one I didn't see a direct dupe of from Revolution, at least. Let me know if there is one, <laughs> but I didn't see one. But this one is so, so pretty. I haven't swatched this. But you can just see how the light is just picking up those shadows. I definitely want to do a Pat McGrath tutorial. I'm thinking if I should just pick up the foundation and just do it all in one video. But I don't know. Like I've got her lipsticks. I do want to pick up one of the highlighters. So I don't know. And then this one is the Mothership 2 Sublime palette. This one Revolution does have a dupe, dupe of. I didn't even know that the um, 
the shade names come out of the actual box like you could have glued that in <laughs> anyway 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 I got it for a bargain deal so I should stop complaining that's what this one looks like I will pop a picture on the screen of the one that I think it's duping I think it's the earth and stone eyeshadow palette from revolution but that green and that gold yeah I'm here for it definitely here for it so those are my Pat McGrath palettes they came I'm so excited so excited I received a surprise package from Wonder 2 Cosmetics. So One or Two Cosmetics is a brand that I have used or I use quite frequently actually. I have a lot of eye pencils from them so I tend to use them because they're colourful and you guys know that I love a colourful waterline. However, they kind of like went silent on me. <laughs> they went silent on me after they sent me their lipsticks to swatch or play with which I did and then I didn't hear much from them. But then this package turned up at my house a couple of days ago and I was like, okay, thank you. <laughs> and this is, um, so I've got a couple of different products. The first one is the Wonder Extension Lash Extension and Volumizing Mascara. I want to say that I've used this mascara before, I think. Yes, I have. I have used this mascara before and I did love it. I did love this mascara. I think it's a two... So two-step mascara. Yes, it's a two, a double-ended mascara. I think one was like a primer, and then one was like the mascara itself. And yeah, I did enjoy this. This was a really good product, so I'm quite happy to have it again in my collection. They also sent over their Wonder Brow. Now Wonder two cosmetics was known for their brow products like that's how they came on the market and then they slowly kind of like dived into other parts of makeup so i've actually never tried any of their brow products so it's quite nice to have this one and this is their long lasting brow gel and dual dual precision brush wonder what shade in black brown perfect would work really well for me this looks kind of light though. <laughs> Does it? I don't know. And then you've got double-ended brush, spoolie, and brow brush. Okay, so quite excited to see what that looks like on my brows. And then they've also sent over their Go Beyond Foundation. This is their Complexion Enhancing Powder. Uh, naturally matte finish lasts all day in medium deep range again I haven't opened this package um, so I don't know what it looks like okay that is that color what do you guys think should I swatch it it feels really really velvety very soft Okay, it might work. You can't see it, which is good. So that might be good. Quite like that. Love the packaging. Nice soft touch type of packaging. Magnetic closure. Okay, that would be fun to try out. And then they also sent over two of their eye pencils. This is what um, I first tried out from them. They sent me a big box of eye pencils and I've still been using them even till now though I've really dwindled down on the amount that I have because I finished a lot of them. So it's nice to have these two in my collection. You guys know that I use a, a blue one. There's a blue one from them that I use all the time. So it's nice to have um, some replenishments. This is their Superstay liner. Uh, matte and lasting in essential ultraviolet. And I swear by these guys. The matte ones I swear by. I didn't particularly like the glitter ones or the shimmer ones uh, because they kind of like hurt my eye a little bit but the matte ones work really well they're super creamy and very very pigmented very kind on the waterline as well so I definitely recommend these if you're on the hunt for colorful eye liners and then they sent me the blue I swear somebody watches my video because I be using this blue all the time and this one 
is the Essential Royal Blue. This is essentially my favourite from them and the black as well because they're both very, 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 very pigmented and they layer quite nicely. Look at that blue. I do swear by these and they are um, affordable as well so definitely check it out if you're on the hunt for colourful eye pencils. Right, so I also received this package from l'oreal and this is their waterproof what is it this is their new air volume mega mascara easy waterproof mascara uh what are the features waterproof sweat proof smudge proof whipped formula for inflated lashes and up to 10 times more volume long wear mascara with up to 48 hour hold tubing lash technology for an easy removal with warm water okay so I, I'm not going to open this because I hate to waste mascara, but I am really loving the packaging. Very nice and sleek, very fun. They also sent over these Micella reusable eco pads. Mine looks pretty damaged from shipping, I presume, but you get three pads, pop it in water and... Okay, you can use it to wash your face and you can wash them in a washing machine. So, look, wipes are overrated, guys. Do not use wipes on your face. It will only cause irritation and it doesn't clean your makeup, especially if you've got large pores like I do. So, stuff like this are better for your skin and better for the environment. So, quite excited to have this. I have a couple of facial wipes and pads and stuff that I use, so it'll be nice to have a couple more. How could I? I missed this from a Wonder 2 package. I do have one of this in my collection as well and it's their Kabuki brush and I love how soft these brushes are. They're really nice for applying powder or for like blotting. They, you know, they work really, really nice. So I'm going to let you guys watch uh, clips of me unboxing stuff with just my hands and then I'll come back and show you the rest of the stuff that I have. Next up, I got this parcel from Maybelline. So Maybelline um, have come out with this new mascara. I have seen it on TikTok and I can see the demo is on TikTok and it really does look like it volumizes your lashes. So they have actually linked one of the TikTok videos in oh, this yeah, cute little thing. Wait, let's have a look. Yes. Let's peel this so you guys can actually see. Let's do this again. I think about oh, there you go. Maybelline has some of the best drugstore mascaras, and I'm about to show you their new Sky High Mascara. The comb-like wand gives you separation, yet still small enough to get those lower lashes without touching your skin. And the formula layers well, which is absolute key. I think it's safe to say Sky High Lashes achieved. But I don't know who the TikToker is, but basically, um, let's see if I can stop this. So basically, this is the Sky High uh, mascara from Maybelline, and it says Lash Sensational on the packaging. From the flyer, it says limitless length and full volume, giving even the shortest lashes a boost. Infused with bamboo extract and fibers for long, full lashes that never get weighed down. Flex Tower Brush bends to volumize and extend every single lash from root to tip. You guys can also use the discount code Sky High to get 10% off. You can use this on Superdrug. Yes, it looks fun. It looks like it would really volumize my lashes. The thing is that I have lashes like this that kind of slope downward. So if it's, if it's able to keep my lashes looking, you know, nice and full, then why not? Um, I do have a couple of mascaras that I'm currently using, but let me get, let me know if you guys are interested in a review of this, and I will fast track it and review the mascara. But TikTokers seem to love it, so um, it must be doing something. <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much, Maybelline, for this one. I'm very excited. I love the packaging. I love the three D effect of the name. So it looks pretty fun. I'll warn you guys now, I do have quite a lot of skincare products. <laughs> so from L'Oreal, they sent me this range of skincare products. This one is their Replumping Gel Wash. I'm not going to lie, I don't think I've used... Um, I haven't used that many skincare products from L'Oreal over the past couple of years. Maybe one or two here and there. So this is quite refreshing to try as a range. 
So this one cleanses smooth and hydrates the skin. It's got pure hyaluronic acid and it's anti-aging. And it says hyaluronic acid is a powerful demo demological active ingredient naturally present in skin and known for its replumping hydrating and firming properties so it says days after skin feels smoother and days after skin feels smoother firmer and replumped immediately skin feels cleansed and purified and uh, fresh and hydrated so i am excited I can use this morning and evening, so I'm quite excited. I wonder if it foams, because um, I do love a good foaming gel wash, but that's that one. Packaging of this one came battered, but this is their deep replumping anti-aging cream for day. It says, fills wrinkles, replumps the skin, it's got microfilla hyaluronic acid, everything's about hydration here. Inspired by injections with new microfilla hyaluronic acid. Um, okay. Love the packaging. Uh, I am int interested in trying it. Obviously, I don't want to open it until I use the whole range. But I will come back to you guys probably in a product empties video to tell you guys how I got on and if it's worth it. And then this one is their Pure Retinol Deep Wrinkle Night Serum. So I've got a day cream. I've got a night serum. 0.2% Pure Retinol. right okay so it's a serum apply to clean dry skin in the evening follow up with moisturizer if desired always use a minimum of spf 20 the morning after in case of discomfort space the application so yeah we'll give this one a go let you guys know how i feel and then the last product is the replumping micellar water this says rehydrates softens and removes makeup it's got pure hyaluronic acid in it also anti-aging so rehydrate soften remove makeup so yeah so this range we're gonna give it a go and see how we get on next up i've got some skincare from makeup revolution makeup revolution was so kind enough to send me um a nice cute little box of skincare products and they termed it lockdown self-care <laughs> which i love so these are some of the hero products so their candles um their like their brushes and stuff like that face wash and things like that that they've put together in a little box for me so i'm going to go through those products first thing is their um bow headband i've used this before my niece took it so i'm happy to have another one I actually really love the bag it comes in i think it came i can't remember how it was presented before but this one looks really fluffy and very very soft so excited to try that it also sent over the hydration boost cleanser with shea butter now i have an empties video where i talked about this because i used this and some other products from this range and i wasn't a huge fan i wasn't a huge fan because i mean it did give me the hydration but it didn't really cleanse my pores didn't really cleanse my skin as well as i like it so i don't know if i'm gonna give it another go and see if it will make a difference or if I'm just going to gift this, but if you're looking for hydration or if you don't wear makeup and you're looking for a hydrating cleanser, then definitely check this one out. It is very gentle and it does have shea butter, but it just doesn't cleanse my skin as well as I, as I like it. That's that one. They also sent over a toning boost eye cream. Um, it says Baku Choi. Look, I'm, I'm probably butchering, but you guys can see what it says there. Uh, Revolution Skincare is vegan and cruelty-free, if you didn't know. So, let's... I really hate packaging. I'm going to go under my... Yeah. I want to show you guys what it looks like. 
Yeah, that's what a jar looks like. I'm not going to open it because I do have two eye creams that I'm using. One is the vitamin C eye cream from Revolution that I use during the day. And then the other one is the illuminated eye cream from Laura Mercier. So I do have some that I'm using. So I'll have to put this to the side and come back to it once I'm done with those ones. But yeah, thank you. I saw this on their Instagram page and this is their cold... This is their gold hydro gel. Is their hydrating eye patches with colloid, colloid, colloidal <laughs> colloidal gold, sixteen pieces, vegan, cruelty free, vegan, um, fragrance free. I don't know why I can't talk today. I feel like I'm getting tongue tied. Every single thing I say just sounds stupid, but. You guys should just bear with me. Um, oh, this product would only last three months when you open it. So, yeah, we're not going to open this because I do have two eye um, patches that I'm using. One is from Good Molecules, which I absolutely love. And the other one's from Pixie. So, we're not going to be opening this one just yet. They also sent over the... They also sent over a mask, so you get two in this little package, and they're your lower face sheet mask. This is very intriguing to me. Most face masks that I've seen, it's either, it comes as two pieces, so one for the top, one for the lower part, or a full mask. So, but just seeing one just dedicated for the bottom half of your face is, you know, it's really, really intriguing. So this one says that it's got willow bark extract and it helps to prevent the appearance of blemishes. So I guess you do get more blemishes around your chin and lower cheek area, to be honest. Um, it says it's got hyaluronic acid, it's got betaine, and it will calm and hydrate the skin. Okay, so this one I am definitely interested in doing. I don't know if I should maybe do a hangout on YouTube one day and just do like a skincare pamper session with you guys. I don't know if anyone's going to be interested in that, but let your girl know. I do have a couple of masks as well to share with you guys. So this one I have used before and I absolutely love. This is their pink clay mask. It's a detoxing clay mask and I am so here for it. I love anything detoxing. I love any clay mask. I don't like the peel off masks. I'm not a fan. But anything clay mask I will use. I go through them like crazy. I absolutely love it. Can you guys see what I am trying to do? Does it even make sense what I am trying to do? Here we go. Because we don't want to damage the nails, do we? I do have a clay mask that I'm using. Um, the one that I got from Mary Kay, but I'm almost done with that. So I'm quite excited to get back into this one. I love this this mask it just feels really really good on the skin and you can you can feel it sucking out all the oils and all the extra dirt from the face so this one definitely i fully recommend if you're on the hunt for a mask i do have an overnight hydrating mask so this one has hyaluronic acid in it which we love if you've got oily skin, you still need hyaluronic acid. Your skin naturally produces hyaluronic acid, but this one adds more to give you that extra hydration and boost. So don't run away from hyaluronic acid. Actually embrace it. And it says overnight hydrating mask. And I guess you just apply this generously on the skin and go to bed. Yeah, use one to two times a week overnight avoid eye area cleanse any residue in the morning there you go and then the third one is a charcoal purifying mask i don't think i've used this one let's have a look let's see i actually don't think i've used this one no i haven't used this one but i've seen it uh that's what it looks like so what does it do one to two times air allowed to work 10 to 15 minutes 
better skincare, better makeup. I guess it just probably performs as good as the pink one. But I have to try this. I haven't tried this one before. But yeah, those are the face masks that I got from Revolution. Right, I've also got a uh, CBD oil. This is for dry skin and it says nourishing oil. I had this before in my collection, but I gifted it to my mom because she's got dry skin and I haven't got dry skin. So I'm probably going to give it to her if she's run out of the one that she's using. So let's put this one to the side. And then this is their vitamin C radiant strength serum. I have this in my collection. I don't think I've used it yet because I have a few serums that I'm using. Or actually, is it the same one that I'm actually using? Let's have a look. Because sometimes, if, if this is the one that comes in a white bottle, then this is the one I've lined up to use. But if it's the one in the black bottle, then this is the, then it's the one I'm currently using. Yep. So this is the one I'm currently using. I'm actually almost out, so I can give you guys my opinions about this. I think it's absolutely fantastic. It's supposed to help improve your skin radiance or give you that glow. Um, also helps with smoothing out your texture. And I've been using this religiously just before I apply my moisturizer and absolutely love it. I'm actually almost out, so I'm quite happy that I have a backup now. So interested if you're interested in um adding a little bit more vitamin c into your skincare definitely check out this one from revolution i recommend and then they also sent over their moisture cream this one i don't think i have used yet like i actually think i have one in my collection that i haven't used yeah, I haven't used this one yet because I'm using a moisturizer from Thrive, which I'm almost out of. So I will be introducing this to my skincare. But again, it says enhances natural radiance, energizes and hydrates. So, yeah, we need some radiance. We've been locked indoors for the past how long? So you need to add some extra vitamin C into your skincare because we haven't got the sun to do that right now they also sent over some skincare tools so i have this in my collection but i'm happy to have a backup this is their double-ended masking brush i love this i use this side to apply clay masks you know things with thicker formula and then i use the brush to apply things like the hydrating mask you know things with a lighter fluffier formula so i love this if you guys are looking for a masking brush definitely check out the one from revolution so inexpensive and works so well very easy to clean i also have something like this but the one that i've got is jade is the green one so this really just this is a facial roller so if you've got like a face mask on you can roll it over if you've got a gel mask on you can roll it over and really get the ingredients to really pump into your pores and yeah it's basically what it is it's just really it's a facial roller <laughs> so rather than using your hands to kind of work the product into the skin you can use this to really work the product in so Last but not the least from Revolution, I have been wanting these candles like forever and this is their indulgence collection. So this is a set of three. This is the mini size. You can get in, you can get them individually at the standard large size, but this is the mini size and it smells just through the box alone, guys. It smells divine. So... You've got Call Me Angel, which I can only describe as, oh, what am I even trying to do? I think they're all described behind here. Are they? No, they're not described. But I could describe this one as having like cranberry or, I don't know, it has like a cranberry scent to it, which is very, very yummy. It's very fruity smell. I love that one and then you've got this one which is called undress me this one's more grown this one has more of like a flowery 
flesh fresh flower smell which is nice and then you've got the black one called lost my head yeah this one is grown grown man type of smell it smells like a man i swear it smells like a yummy yummy gorgeous man so that's what they smell like this is what revolution came oh my goodness look it's all described here why didn't they describe it at the back when they wrote it but anyway the undress me it says clean and fruity citrus and basil call me angel fruity and floral i did get that one right rhubarb and peony lost my head dark and dreamy tonka and lavender so it says so on the side of the box but yeah that's what it looks like makes for a really good gift in my opinion but yeah all right you guys so from ofra ofra has a new collaboration with steph tom steph tom is an influencer content creator um on instagram so if you're not following her check out her content i don't really watch her but i do see her content pop up here and there and as you guys know i'm on ofra's PR list so I got this in the mail and obviously I had to test it out so this is Steph Tom's this is what it looks like she's collaborated with Ofra collection comes out on the 22nd of February and it's a highlighter and it's called milk and cookies and it actually smells like milk and cookies <laughs> it actually smells like it like Ofra is not really known for having smelly smelling products but this one really does smell like milk and cookies yeah it really does when you sniff it so i have used this already in a video on instagram i did an igtv video playing with some makeup and so i have tested it and oh baby this thing is highlighted okay forget glowy it's highlighted so you get two sides to it retails for $35 and it's a split pan highlighter uh, most pigmented buttery blendable split pan highlighter I've ever thrown on my face it's the best smelling highlighter I've ever tried and I wonder if they have different names no it says milk and cookies so maybe one is milk the other one's cookies I don't know but uh, use the highlight on cheekbones, brow bones. You don't really get that much on the packaging. But anyway, this is what it looks like. Standard Ofra white packaging. It is getting a little bit dirty because I've used it. See, I'm not a fan of these matte packages because even when you wipe it, you still see some staining and whatnot. So, yeah, I'm not really a fan of the white packaging. It's aesthetically pleasing, but it's just not very practical. And then let me swatch them individually and then I'll swirl swatch them. That's what it look. Oh gosh. So that's one side. That's the other side. Look at that, my loves. Look, look, look. And then if I swirl, show if it makes a difference. Look at that. That is absolutely gorgeous. That is gorgeous. I'm not even going to sugarcoat it and forget that I'm on Oifra's PR list. That is a gorgeous highlighter that I love. I love that at least I've got that shade. If I don't want to use the icy shade, but you guys know I love icy highlighters. But even when you swirl it, you still have a very beautiful wearable shade. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. So congratulations to Steph Toms. This is a banger and it looks fierce. And even when I used it in a video on IGTV, I absolutely fell in love with how pigmented the glow is. So yes, yes, yes. All right. So from Laura Mercier, I've got a few blushes and lip products. So these are their blush color infusion. I believe they have up to about 14 shades of these blushes um but you know i've looked at them and i think there's only like one or two dark shades but they send these over and i absolutely love the packaging of laura mercier products i think they're just absolutely gorgeous packaging and this is this one i'm not gonna blind you guys this one's called passion fruit 
and though it might work for me i'm just gonna swatch it in the corner so yeah it's a bit wishy-washy on my skin tone but i'm guessing on top of like a liquid blush it'll be fine but i just need something a little richer i was just hoping i would be slightly darker but that's what this one's called passion fruit you can't fault the packaging though. The packaging is just absolutely gorgeous. And then this one's called Watermelon. Watermelon is even lighter than Passion Fruit. So I don't think I'm going to swatch this one. Yeah, it's so light, you guys. So, so light. But um, yeah, it's a beautiful flush, but just not going to work for me. So I'm probably going to put this one in a giveaway. And then I've got these two lip products, which I'm always excited for. I love Laura Mercier lip products. I think they're gorgeous. And this one is shade Baby Doll. Gorge. Love me. A sexy new wand. Mm. Ooh, it has like a yummy, yummy fruity smell. It's that one. And then I've got rose gold accent that's what it's called wow look at this one this one's stunning oh yes girl look at that that's gorgeous yeah yes 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 give me all the lip products all day long so thank you so much to laura mercier team i'm very excited for these and then i've got a couple of products from morphe so this is bad habits from morphe it's their skincare range you guys can use my code glamfam553 to get um money off your skincare products or any products from morphe if you use my code you can get five dollars off any one-time purchase of ten dollars and above so definitely check it out all pounds doesn't matter just check out the morphe website and use my code if you're interested but this is their bubbly fresh gel to foam cleanser i love gel to foam cleansers because i love me a good foam this is the package really cool love the packaging nice and fresh looking and what does it say vegan uh, non-commodogenic good for all skin types okay and then i've also got this kit this is a four skincare essential kit you've got wake things up daily dose ohms and power sleep what are they mm. let's have a look all right so you've got daily cleanser this one and then um akai nightly cleansing balm love a good cleansing balm what's this one um melatonin and glycolic night cream and then daily dose multivitamin moisturizer how cool is that love a good kit i wonder if they come i need to check it out but i wonder if they come in like um full size but you can buy the kit to actually just test it out and see if you know it just gels with your skin or if you find it useful that'll be really good and then this one is their total softy gel moisturizer oh i love the packaging it just looks really really fresh really really fresh what this one looks like yeah i have this uh lip this lip balm i did unbox this um in one of my previous videos let me get it so i can tell you guys 
what I think. All right, so this is mine, and I've been using this religiously. You guys can see it's been well used, and I love this. The reason why I love it is because when you apply it, it doesn't like um clean off when you eat or when you do anything. You have to like really, really wipe it off your lips, which means that the masking effect will last longer on your lips because you're not constantly reapplying. So I use this every day. This literally goes into my bag, follows me everywhere. I use it underneath my lipsticks. I use it while I'm doing my videos. I love this. It's really, really good. All right, so these two just literally arrived today. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this pink one first. All right, you guys, if you've been following me for a while, even on YouTube, Instagram, wherever, you know that you guys, that I rave about Makeup by Namisa because I absolutely love her. She's an amazing makeup artist. She's an amazing content creator, YouTuber. She's just really, really creative. And I've been following her for the longest time, cheering her on, rooting for her. And I'm so happy that she started her Etsy business. So I purchased her bag. So basically, I'll show you guys. She's from the Netherlands as well. Oh God, it's so pretty. So basically she sells these bags now. So this is her graphic, her design and this is actually removable i'm hoping that she does like um a like collection or a discount on like some of these coverings so that if you've got the base bag you can go ahead and just buy different ones to change the bag itself but this is what the one this is the one that i got it's so beautiful and it says beautiful and this is all her, this is all her graphic. I am so proud of her. And the bag is just a nice, good old fashioned black bag. You've got a compartment on, on the inside. It's nice and deep. And then you've got a long strap. This is very helpful for me, you know, for like going shopping or running errands. I'll be able to just quickly throw this on and be on the move. At the moment, I'm using my husband's bag, which isn't the most convenient. So when I saw this, I was like, what better way of supporting a friend than purchasing from her, especially when it's something that I am going to use. I really love the graphic on this. It's so pretty. She has different graphics on her Etsy. I will link her Etsy in the description box as well. I'm so proud of her and I'm so happy that this this came to me. So you can purchase from Etsy if you live in the UK because she lives in the Netherlands. You can purchase from Etsy and all the shipping cost and everything is at checkout so you know how much you're paying before you actually purchase it. And yeah, it's so pretty. I'm so happy I have it. All right, you guys, so from Swatch Perfect, if you follow me on Instagram, uh, you know that I have a swatch page. I have mentioned it here on YouTube as well, where I do swatches. And I did go on my stories to say that almost all the swatches that I did over the Christmas period got deleted somehow and I'd used so many swatch templates and it was I was bummed out. I literally almost didn't want to post anything on my swatch page but the owner of Swatch Perfect um who the owner of Swatch Perfect who owns the swatch um stencils that I was using reached out and you know she gave me her love and she said she'd send me a couple more. I am on her PR list as well and they are coming out with a new collection literally what just arrived today. She always puts like the cutest little cards in her PR packages like I wouldn't be surprised if that is handmade by her because she's so creative. The cards are definitely handmade by her like how cute is this? And then it says, there's just no one like you. This is so cute. Uh, hi, Elishwala. Thank you so much for your continued support of my brand. Sending all the love and positive vibes to you and your family. This is the cutest. I have two of the Christmas ones um, from her, which I still have in my collection because these are so precious. They're all handmade by her and they just look absolutely cute so i always look forward to her little cards and then she's really spoiled me with templates like literally spoiled me with some strip ones different sizes some beauty bay ones different sizes 
these are so inexpensive you guys some strawberry ones which i want to use for the day day signature strawberry palette strawberry how cute is that strawberry ones we've got some more of these styles and i'm working on some other things as well which these will come handy for how cute is this oh my goodness and then some of the newer ones butterfly ones that's so cute butterfly ones uh this will be good for makeup by time you know makeup by tammy is coming out with her butterfly eyeshadow palette this would be really cute for that then these are squiggly line ones squiggly line ones some dripping ones like Holding them upside down like that. Lipstick ones. How cool. Lipstick. Some heart ones. Makeup brushes. Some eyes. Brows. <laughs> some brows. BH Cosmetics. Because they do signature. Um, inspired by as well so they've got different brands that they've got inspired by stencils so definitely check them out if you're into swatches or if you do some artwork and you're looking for stencils definitely check them out and Natasha Denona because you guys know I'm obsessed with her and some of the newer ones as well like their crystals and jewels this one this is new as well this one and this one they're all new and they honestly retail from about 50p to about two pounds 50 at the very max and they are reusable you just have to be careful and they are amazing i've been using her swatch template for years and i absolutely love it so definitely check her out if you're into artwork or you like to swatch makeup this will be really handy for you. I do have a discount code with them as well, Media J, and it will get you 10% off your order. Last but certainly not the least is replenishment. So I purchased a couple of products from the Wash Day Co. So I showed you guys products from the Wash Day Co. in one of my hauls, and I've literally been using it on my hair. You know, they sent me a shampoo, conditioner, and the brush i literally cannot live without the brush shampoo and conditioner has been really really kind on my hair i found out that my hair is feeling softer a lot easier to manage and retaining a lot more moisture as opposed to being bone dry in the morning so i had to buy some more stuff because honestly i'm running low and i don't want to be out before i need a replenishment and i went up to their website and i realized that they now have a bag that you can purchase so i purchased their bag as well like this is literally how it was packaged and sent to me in a box like so cute so so cute nothing like luxury like I love luxury goods if it's done beautifully well I'm so here for it and this is the bag you can see that I haven't even unwrapped the shampoo and conditioner on the inside and you've got wash day co there and this is securing the bag <laughs> that's what the bag is called and then you've got the wash day co at the bottom this is such a cute bag you guys so big you can fit so much stuff you can literally leave your shampoo conditioner and this is the brush and pop the brush in there go into your bathroom do your business wash your hair and all of that stuff or if you wash your hair outside your bathroom you've got all your products in one place and you guys already know what these look like but i wanted to show you what they look like before unboxing them because the other time i unboxed it on my instagram so you get some stickers which were also on the box like there were different stickers on the packaging oh this one says good riddance to decisions that don't support self-care self-value self-worth oprah <laughs> and then this one says hey curl okay I love that. So cute. 
and here is the shampoo love the packaging I just want them to like make bigger bottles honestly because the stuff in it is amazing and then this one says unbox smile smell smile again get on the gram and then curl hair is the truth we're getting there I'm getting there with the curl hair <laughs> I'm getting there and this is the conditioner this is what it looks like so if I pop both of them back in my bag and I'm gonna pop my brush right in there I am ready for my next wash day right here how cute so you can get the bag separately you don't have to buy the shampoo and conditioner but I was running low so I purchased it and it came packaged in my secure the bag and that is it you guys that is everything I'm looking around thinking have I forgot anything but no that is it you guys that is everything that I've either purchased or I've received let me know which products um, pique your interest are you interested in any of them do you like the look of any of them as I said I reviewed Day Day Signature Eyeshadow Palette so I will have that video up very soon and link it in the comment section or description box or in the cards or all three I will link kit so that you guys can find it easily i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching remember god doesn't like ugly be nice to someone today black lives always matter and i'll catch you guys very soon